Welcome to a special video on Notebook Check. We've got the MSI VR1 backpack here and the HTC Vive, which you can see set up to the side of me here. And here's the headset. We've been playing trials on Tatooine all day and it's been a fantastic experience. I'm gonna show you around the VR1 backpack. It's basically a desktop PC in a backpack that removes the need for the cable, the long cable for the HTC Vive system. Now we've got a fantastic four by three meter area here that we've set up. That cable that you get with the HTC Vive wouldn't stretch around that distance. We've been testing this backpack out in this area and this cable free experience is quite amazing. I'm gonna take you around the backpack. I'm gonna show you a few games, a few videos of our experience. We'll start however by looking at the MSI VR1 backpack. I'll take you around it, talk a little bit about the specifications the one specification you probably need to know is GTX 1070. There's GTX 1070 inside. Now, when you get the backpack and you take it out of the box, what you're gonna need first is a monitor. It's the first thing you need to do. Now, MSI, I've got a couple of options for you. Basically, you'll need to plug in a monitor, HDMI or DisplayPort, and then configure remote desktop. So you can use a separate laptop or separate PC to connect to this device over Wi-Fi. Now it's important that you have a wireless connection because bringing it back to a table, connecting DisplayPort every time you need to change something in Windows is difficult. You can do it through the HTC Vive system. There's a desktop scenario that you can use and you can use with the controllers, but it's not that easy. And on first setup, you probably want to be using it in a desktop mode with a screen. What we've done here though, is we've used Wi-Dial. We've used the DisplayLink adapter the, dis dis the uh, display port is not connected, so it gives us the ability to run a separate uh, video channel into an HDMI device, uh, in this case a monitor. Uh, later on I'll be putting it into a capture card so I can capture some of the content that's coming out of this. But that's important, you need to work out first how you're going to do your wireless uh, display so that you can actually look after the system, manage the system while it's in use. So there it is, that's the VR1 backpack with the straps attached, it comes without the straps connected but you just clip them in at the top and you get a fairly, well surprisingly lightweight uh, system uh, and surprisingly small, I thought it was going to be bigger, I thought it was going to be heavier, it's not, let's just take a look at that there on the camera and I want to show you, there's the power port underneath and that powers these two huge battery packs, each one is a 100 watt hour battery and you can actually hot remove those as well. In fact, if I just put this on the table, I'll pull one of those out and you'll see that things are still working in the background. Let me just, um, just put that down so you can see. But it's still working with one battery. Now, uh, we haven't got the separate charger for the battery, but in theory you could charge that and then you can just slot that back in when one of the batteries is down and keep going. This will last you for about two hours though, which is probably as much as you need for one VR session. You get indicators on the front showing you the battery charge. We see you've got two out of four there. And of course, under Windows, you can see the battery life that's available. What I like about the system is the air gap that they've built in between the system and your back. Now, it doesn't get particularly hot actually. It doesn't get loud. It's actually a pretty cool and quiet system. There's a fan running out now, but it's obviously a fairly big fan. It's a, a low pitch noise. It's really, in fact, if I put it to the mic, maybe you can hear it, but it's not that loud. You certainly won't notice it when you're, when you're gaming.
Well, you'll see a few bits of equipment in the room that are in addition to the VR1 backpack and the HTC Vive. Basically, I've got a frame capture device um, here, which is going over the wireless uh, display connectivity to try and capture some of the action. Let us now take a demo and show you some of the experience. So here we are in the wizard's room and we've got some pretty crazy stuff here. Whoa. Zoom right in. And there we are, the Eiffel Tower can stand next to the Eiffel Tower. Let's stand on top of the Eiffel Tower. Standing on top. Standing on top of the Eiffel tower in Paris. The graphics adapter in here is the uh, NVIDIA GTX 1070. So it's not a dual, it's a single uh, GTX 1070. So no SLI configuration in here. And that's basically because it would probably get too hot to be too heavy and require even bigger batteries to keep that going uh, for two hours. So a single GTX 1070 is going to give you a great experience. We've actually uh, had pretty much the same experience as we had with the GT83 VR with the dual SLI 1070s in. You will probably, after a while, uh, notice the difference between those two devices, but this is fine. It's actually incredible experience. Google Earth VR is a wow. It's incredible. And being able to move around in a four, uh, what have we got here? A four by three space meters is, gives you so much freedom and it's so much more uh, of a good experience, a good virtual reality experience. So if you've watched this far, you probably want to know some more about the specifications. There's an overview for you there. But if you want any more, go to notebookcheck.net and there's an article about the MSI VR1 there. The link is in the YouTube video notes below. One performance figure I want to highlight, and that's the SSD. It's a Samsung PCI Express connected SSD that runs at over two gigabytes per second transfer rate proving that the components in here are really top notch. You've got the overclock GTX 1070 as well, and you're getting some great performance figures. Here's one of them for you, and that's the 3D Mark scores we got, and there's a comparison there with the MSI GT63, I think that is up there, uh, and you'll see that it's running at over 17,000 uh, 3D Mark points, so that's a really, really nice figure. Battery life, two hours, weighs 3.8 kilos, and it's really not a problem when you've got it carried uh, on your back. In fact, my son, six years old, had no problem himself testing this out at the weekend. Obviously, the highlight is the fact that it's a self-contained unit. You've got the short cable for the headset, and you're not going to have a problem, number one, getting tangled up in cables, but number two, having a really, really big room size experience. So our four meter by two and a half, nearly three meter space here, where we're able to move around in the complete space without any problems at all. And for demos or experiences like Google Earth VR, that's really important. You can walk all the way around the Eiffel Tower without tripping yourself up. So thanks to MSI for supporting us on this video with the VR1 and the HTC Vive headset. We had a lot of fun, as I said, four or five days of testing when it really should have been only two. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. My name's Chippy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next NoBookCheck.net video.